Hi everyone, I'm back in my bar, but I'm in hotel quarantine. Um, so it's not actually my bath, but I have been trying to take a bath every single day. It's a part of my self-care routine, one of my non-negotiables. Um, so this week I am 30 weeks plus three days today. And I have to say I'm feeling really good. I am not hating on quarantine. Um, I actually spoke to a midwife today because it's been really fantastic, I have to say. Um, just the whole process of quarantine has been really, really organized in our experience. Maybe that's not everyone's experience, but for us, it feels like it's all been very organized. We're being, you know, taken care of. Um, we get check-ins all the time. Our phone rings a lot and it's uh, doctors or nurses calling in just to see how we're doing mentally, physically, if we need anything. Um, there's a little extra care for me because I'm pregnant. So today I had a midwife call me and we're on the phone for about 40 minutes and she was asking just a bunch of questions, my previous history, um, you know, past births, how far along I was, etc. Can hear someone crying out there um and i felt really held and taken care of and one thing that she said her name was jordan she said just because you're in quarantine doesn't mean that you don't have access to all the uh medical uh, procedures and all the things that are in place to keep people feeling safe when they're pregnant um, you have access to all of that and um, the same way any other pregnant person in New South Wales has access to it. So she was like, just because you're there, it doesn't mean you've been forgotten about for two weeks. That's why we're going to keep checking in on you and just seeing how you're feeling. And, you know, she sent me a bunch of pregnancy links and I was like, this is my fourth pregnancy. Um, you know, I feel pretty good. But I, it was just reassuring and comforting and and she just said, if anything changes, if if you have reduced fetal movements, if you're just feeling wonky, if there's any bleeding, anything at all, please call this number 24-7. Um, we are available to you. And, and I realized that actually that kind of care is really what I'm paying for. Um, you pay $3,000 for the room and then it's an additional uh, amount of money per person in here so i think the kids are 500 bucks something like that um and so that was really thoughtful and i really appreciated it i have to send them through blood tests and ultrasounds so that they're, they're just very aware and that if anything was to go wrong and i had to pop out of quarantine and go to a hospital or have a scan for whatever reason they'd already have all that information so that side of it feels really organized. Um, and they also just check in about your mental health. Now, we have been feeling really good. My husband and I, we're saying, I've got popcorn kernel in my mouth. I've been eating popcorn. Um, my husband and I have been saying that it actually feels um, like we're getting a lot accomplished and uh we're spending so much time with the kids we have we have a very good routine in place with them in terms of when they get hi baby you can feel you in there hi um when they get their ipad time so they get ipad from 7 a.m to 8 a.m because we're usually up about 7 15 so if they're up before us they get seven to eight uh, and then they have to come off iPad for three hours and then they get it again um, from 11, 11 to 12 and they come off again and they get it again from three to four and the hour goes really fast. And then if, depending on how they've been and if everyone's getting on well and whatever, they can earn an extra hour. Um, at the end of the day, like the right, you know, sort of like 5.30 to 6.30, depending on how, 
you know, if they've had listening ears, everyone has jobs in here. So Isaac's job is to load the dishwasher and to uh, unpack the dishwasher. Um, Mark is in charge of all the trash. I'm just doing general tidying and laundry and putting like clothes away. And uh, the three little kids are doing all the toys pick up. And um, Mark also tries to do some of the sweeping in here. We've got carpet, so it's a little bit challenging and there's no laundry, but we were given a three bedroom place at um, the Meriton Suites, which is really fantastic. Um, it has been wonderful. Uh, I think we feel, I guess it, we were really prepped for the experience to be very, very challenging. And, you know, there was a moment today where Isaac was upset and he was feeling upset because he was like, I'm sick of being cooped up. And I was like, I think you're feeling all the normal feelings that people have in quarantine. That is the typical experience. And I guess Mark and I are just really trying to shine a positive light on it because we just keep saying, look, we're all together. We're having family time. We're playing so many board games. We just played... Um, Monopoly Cheaters Edition, and then we've got Uno Flip, we've played Key to the Kingdom, we've played Bingo, kids have read so much. Um, I've been cooking a lot. Uh, last night I made um, like a, a really yummy vegan ramen. Today I made a really delish uh, like pecan strawberry salad with a very like specific miso dressing that I made um, and it was just so it's so delicious and, and wonderful and healthy I've also been working out so during the 11 to 12 iPad I've been working out so I do I've been practicing practicing I've been um doing a workout with Emily Sky Fit so she has a program specifically for pregnant women and um, I'm also gonna fold in some Pilates too, but I've actually been doing it every day. Her program says to do it three times a week, uh, but I'm feeling really strong right now and able to do more than three times a week. So I've been doing it every day. It really helps me. I love, I don't really get sweaty because it's a workout for um, you know your third trimester, but I'm so sore, my legs and my but I'm so sore, my arms are so sore. Um, there's like that movement where you like have your arms out and you go in little circles forwards and backwards. Oh my gosh, my arms are so sore. So I've been managing to work out a lot and, and that is something that I haven't done a ton of this pregnancy. I've also, I ordered, I did a massive shop um, with Coles online like two days ago and we got so many snacks, so much food, produce, just everything that you could possibly need. And I think we're gonna be good for the next two weeks with that huge shop. So the fridge is chock-a-block, so is the pantry. There are just so many snacks and kids are getting through so much food. We got a ton of vegan ice cream. Um, I haven't been indulging, Mark has to the extreme. He, he will just eat like, three ice creams in a row and be like, I just did that. I just did that to myself. And then he'll, I'll catch him like five minutes later, just like eating an entire bag of chips. And then he'll move on to like gummies or whatever. Oh, and I was like, they're supposed to be treats for the kids, um, which we can also use as bribery. So can we not be eating them all ourselves? Thank you. But yeah, I've been reading a book. I never read, but I never get to read books. So it's been cool. I've, I'm also doing a thousand word puzzle that I've been spending about five hours on a day and getting some work done. So it's so far feeling really good. We're, none of us had jet lag, which is fantastic. We all just adjusted that first night and that was it. Um, Bubby's moving normally. Uh, having dreams about her, what she looks like. I keep dreaming that she's gonna be a big baby, but she's measuring uh, like very, I think the 55th percentile. So she's, she's measuring very um, 
like average size, but I keep dreaming that she's big for some reason. Um, and what else? Nothing else really, just aside from continuing to adjust my diet and uh, eating really healthy. I've been trying to steer away from burgers or fried foods and focusing on like lots of yummy salads and smoothies and I'm gonna have a big smoothie tonight for dinner. My cousin Sharon, she dropped us off a, a sandwich maker that you can also cook veggies on and stuff. So that's really cool. And I just feel really supported and I'm, I'm really happy here. I think even just being in Australia um, and we're, we're very high up in this high rise building and looking out at the beautiful view and the sun coming in and hearing the noises of the city. I'm happy to be home. I'm happy to be in Australia. I feel really good here. And even though we're not allowed outside yet, I know that time will come. So we're just trying to make the most of quarantine and all being together and try not to drive each other crazy. Everyone's been great. You know, they'll just mess the whole place up, but then afterwards we just have everyone tidy and it's a team effort. Um, the people, I think, you know, Forest Day 2 was like irritable and tired and jet lagged. Um, and every, he was having some big feelings. And now Isaac's had big feelings today, <laughs> but that's sort of more like, 13 year old feelings of being like I want to go outside I want to hang out with my friends I miss my friends back in America um you know and so I've been to a busy planning play dates for him can you even call it play dates when you're 13 hangouts hangouts for him uh with friends of mine who have kids around his age because so many of my friends have kids my bio children's age but not my stepson's age uh, so I've sourced a few different friends who have kids in that age range. Um, and so I'm organizing a bunch of play hangouts for him. Um, play dates. Oh my gosh, that's still juvenile. Um, yeah, so it's, it's feeling really good. And pregnancy wise, I feel so wonderful working out again. I just want to get stronger. It's my first home birth where I'm going to really attempt to stay at home. And you know, my um, first pregnancy, that was a home birth transfer with my, um, with Bodhi. And so this is the first time I'm going to have like a proper home birth. It's not going to be in my home, unfortunately. It will be in someone else's home, who, who's ever home we rent. But um, I, it's just, it's a new feeling not being in the hospital situation. So I am looking forward to the experience, but I'm also trying to just take it a little step further in terms of my preparation and just being a really good mindset. I can't believe there is now under 10 weeks till her due date. It seems like it's gone really, really fast, especially recently. I think the second trimester went really fast. And then all of a sudden I'm in the third trimester and, and here I am. And I'm in, I'm in this countdown now where I can, I can see it ahead of me. Um, but I'm so looking forward to meeting her and, and folding her into our life. And uh, it's just such an exciting time. And, you know, yesterday I was thinking, is this going to be my last baby? This is going to be my last little one, my last pregnancy. You just, you don't ever know. Um, even with the intention to have another one one day down the track after I've spent some solid amount of years um, working, you just never know because life has different plans sometimes for you. And even if it's something you desire, it doesn't always happen that way. So. I'm trying to really be present in the fact that this could be my last pregnancy. And if it is, I'm really just connecting in with her, trying to enjoy the feeling of being pregnant and um, just lapping it all up before she's here in our arms, getting lots and lots of cuddles and kisses. Um, all right, guys, that's it from me. And I will see you next week from quarantine. Mwah.